Hello, hello everyone. This is Dr. Hefe playing a video game where you fly through space to destroy a rebel flagship. And you know what's cool? You don't get to destroy it one time, you get to destroy it three times. Awesome, huh? <laughs> yes, this is FTL and I'm going to be playing with the new cruiser or the one that I just unlocked, the slug cruiser. So let's rename this, of course. I'm all about the slug life for sure. And, of course, we've got to respect the slug life. I'm all about those gastropods. And another part of the slug life. Yeah, the shotgun slug life. Word. And I did surprisingly well with the slug cruise the first time through and actually managed to defeat the rebel flagship on the first try so that's our goal to defeat the rebel flagship and this slug ship plays really interestingly I'm I kinda like it kind of down with it but we'll see if I can repeat the same strategy with the same luck that I got on that first run so we're gonna help these fools out with some fuel Great, a sector map. That's cool of you guys. I guess we're gonna go up and around to hit that distress signal up. Why not? First thing about these slugs, reject this offer. So, I didn't know this, but on a ship with no sensors, the slug can actually see into adjacent rooms. So if I move them over here, you can see these two rooms. Move them here, see these rooms. This guy can see these rooms. All that cool stuff. So not only can they detect where enemies are without any sensors, they can actually see into other rooms without any sensors. That's pretty cool. I never noticed that before. And let's continue on our way. Hopefully get into a fight soon so I can try and go over this slug strategy. Can you help? Sure. I'll do that. Count on number. Okay, quest is on the way. Definitely doable. All right, Rebel Automated Scout. So we're not going to be able to show off the strategy with this guy. But what we are going to do is drop a breach missile into their shield section. Yes, that actually hit. And then we're going to try and take out these weapons before they completely demolish my ship. Which they only managed to do slightly. I'm going to conserve these breach missiles. It's going to take a little bit longer to kill the enemies. I know. But missiles are a big part of the strategy. Breach missiles especially. So I'm going to conserve them. Gotta, gotta be a little bit conservative. Especially in the beginning. You never know what run of bad luck you're going to get into in FTL. I guess I could send this guy to go repair those doors right now. Don't need to worry about having to dodge. What? Warlord? Must have killed enough ships to get a Warlord achievement. Okay, cool. I enjoy achievements for the sense of accomplishment that I get. Even though it's not really that big of a deal. Anyway, let's continue on our way. I think I'm going to do a little bounce. Bounce down and up to the quest. So this ship has breach missiles similar to the Mantis Type A cruiser. Let's aid a civilian ship to take out some pirates. All right, I assume that these Mantis are gonna come on board. Yeah? Actually, this guy moves super slow. Maybe a rock dude. All right, whatever. He can chill out up there. I don't mind him breaking doors and stuff. I completely missed there, didn't I? Oh. <laughs> no, I just completely forgot to unpause the game. Like a derp. All right, now I gotta stop this guy. Can't break all my doors, bro. That's not cool. So actually, since the their weapons are down, I can kind of focus on damaging other things. Actually, it's kind of cool to see where the enemies are on the ship. So, 
I mean, that'll come into the strategy a little bit later, actually right now, since I have enough power to charge up this anti-bio beam. So you can use the anti-bio beam to destroy the enemies without destroying the ship, which is pretty cool. And it allows you to kind of detect where the enemies are, but I'm going to blow up the ship because I don't want to take any damage from enemy missiles. All right, blow them up. Hell yeah, welcome aboard. I still don't understand why you have an option to decline the request. And it's an NG dude. That's always awesome. I I enjoy probably the NGs and... Well, the NGs early on for their repair abilities. And then later on... Not enough scrap yet. Later on, the Mantis for their attack abilities. Just killing people who bored you, being able to... What is this? Being able to teleport onto enemy ships and kill them that way. Like, awesome. I, I'm just loving that now, especially after those two awesome Mantis runs. See, look, Mantis dudes messing, actually, here. Send my NG in there. You should be able to live with a med bay healing him. Here comes a missile, whatever. And why did this not take down their shields? That's what I'm worried about. There we go. Actually, let's drop a, bur a breach into their weapons, which was too late to stop this second missile coming. Whew, if that had hit my, my med bay, things could get pretty hairy over here. Okay, so I'm going to take down their shields. So what you can do... Aw, oh, dang, their shields are back up already. Bunch of jerks. I was going to show you guys the anti-bio beam. So you're supposed to be using the anti-bio beam to basically cut across the enemy ship and do damage to their units who are on board. That way you can slaughter them and take control of the ship. So I don't, oh, they're trying to they're trying to escape. Ah, whoo. All right. I thought they escaped right there. This is interesting, actually being able to see where the enemies are on the ship. It just allows me to know their strategy. Because enemies have a predictable set stance. So once they stop trying to repair the ship and go to the piloting and engine rooms, they're trying to escape. And then their ship exploded due to fire. And what I was trying to show you guys, which I will show later... Because it's an awesome strategy. I, I love I love the difference that this game has. Asteroid field, screw that noise. How am I how do I want to do this? Ah, eh, whatever. I love the strategy of using that anti-bio beam to kill enemies. And it goes well with the breach mom. Because you can breach their med bay, right? So then they have to repair that. But first, what I always like to do is breach the shields, especially on the early levels, because that may take down their shields, which allows for you to... Actually, let's take down their weapons. I... Oh. Woo. Good thing that was timed well. And there's a fire down here, which sucks. That's going to be bad. Bad news bears for us. There we go. So the breach bomb always creates a hole breach. That's also bad. Things could get very bad very, very right now. Very right now, things can get very bad. And I should close that up. Okay. Let's blow that. Oh my goodness, oxygen is going to. Breach bomb. What the hell, man? Things are not terrible. They're just very, very bad. Okay, finally we did some damage to their weapon systems. Okay. Okay. This is still doable. So now they're trying to repair the shields. Alright. Trying to drop another breach bomb in there. Yep. Now they're going to have to suffer without any oxygen. And let's see. Is their laser still... Oh, but my shields are down. There, whoo, 
There we go. Okay. So now, with fires raging everywhere and people about to die, actually I should have these guys go repair my shields. I can show off how you use this anti-bio beam to screw people over. A more generous bribe. That's pretty awesome, but I want to use the anti-bio beam. I want to really kill these people. I'm really dedicated to that cause. So now they repair their little med bay. That's cool for them. I take it down again. So use this anti-bio beam. Slice across. Hopefully this will kill those two people. Yeah. That's exactly what I wanted to do. All right. All right, we get some scrap from their dead people. Cool. <laughs> okay, so you guys saw that you use the breach. It creates a whole breach. The oxygen goes out. Therefore, the enemy starts to take damage from oxygen deprivation. Then you can start targeting the med bay when they go there to heal up. And you know where the enemies are due to the slug telepathy. I think that's what it is. I should have this guy on shields. Why do I have him in the engine room? And then you can use your anti-bio beam to target the enemy crew. And you can kill them. Pretty, pretty cool strategy. <laughs> Although I got completely screwed up in that battle. That was definitely not cool. Or you'll be next. Let's attack that pirate. Come on, you could at least bribe us like the other guys tried to. Yes, I took so much damage in this ship, so be prepared for that to happen a lot. Mostly because these freaking breach bombs miss all the time. And those lasers miss. I think it's because the slug guy. Do, do certain... Alien races have better skills at aiming weapons and stuff. Because I found, like, last time I had the slug guy in control there. Switch weapons. And same thing happened. I was missing all over the time. It doesn't look like they're trying to escape because they're both sitting there trying to repair their weapon system. So I think this guy's lying. We could try and use the anti-bio beam. Oh, I think I will try and use the anti-bio beam, even though it missed. Actually, I'm going to kill this guy. Screw it. As much fun as it is to kill the enemy crew, blowing them up, you know, that's old school. Old school way. I'm still down with that. Slug life. Word. All right. Can't give us more. Hey, it's cool. Give me what you got. And we'll go to the distress signal. And my doors are still damaged. Why haven't I repaired that yet? I always do that. Sure. What up, slug dudes? We'll give you some fuel. I'm cool with that. S oh my freaking goodness. You gave me sector scans right as I'm about to leave? I think there's a word for that. It's called go fuck yourself. All right. Shouldn't be too angry about that but I am. Let's repair these doors just so that boarding crews can't get in here and run or muck on my ship. Oh, and the slug cruiser has a... Alright, let's get over there. Whoa! Now let's scrap that stuff. I'm tired of survivors. Slug cruiser has a slug repair gel so that all hull breaches get automatically repaired, which is pretty cool so you don't have to worry about Losing oxygen and stuff in your areas. Where do I want to go? Let's go this way. We'll go through a bunch of nebula. Neb what is the plural of nebula? Nebulas or nebulae? Somebody, please correct me. We'll go through a bunch of nebulaes. And that's where slugs are from, so it'll be cool. Gradually overheat. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I noticed that. Oh, and they're gonna board my ship. Thanks a lot, you jerks. Get my men ready to go take them on. Drop a breach missile in their shields. Let's drop that in there. There we go. Now we're aiming a little bit better. And they are what? Oh yeah, that's right. This ship's gonna get set on fire. That's not cool, dudes. I don't know where the fire is. So 
I'm gonna drop a breach bomb in here too. Like you can see how quickly you start using all of your missiles. Okay, so their shields are gone. Time to charge up this anti-bio beam. Although I really want to get out of here quickly and not have to deal with all this crap. Some one of their guys already died. Hopefully due to oxygen deprivation. I'm gonna wait till these guys move in through here. Ah, completely mistimed that. And move this guy here, this guy to the health section. S some part of this ship is on fire, I know that for sure. Actually, don't need O2. Okay, anti-bio beam. Boom, we're gonna... Boom, we're gonna slice these enemies to pieces. Yeah? No? Who do you think you are not getting killed? There you go. Strip it of useful materials. Okay, now we need to jump out of here because stuff is on fire. It's all on fire everywhere. Let's go to the distress signal. Hopefully it's one of those blue distress signals. Uh, give these guys fuel. I'm hoping for like a big payout. Give me some big payout here. Pegasus missile. That, I think, is pretty big payout. Fires two missiles, two damage each. That's pretty sick. Okay. You have been redeemed. And there's got to be a fire somewhere in here. I was near a sun. How is this whole ship not on fire already? There we go. There's the fire. Okay. We'll uh, starve it of oxygen. Seems like a good idea. Seems like it's working. Oh, that's right. And I have my, my second... My blast shields. So that's why the fire hasn't been spreading through my ship. Cool beans. Okay. What, what kind of saying is cool beans anyway? Someone please explain that to me. Let's continue going around. They're powering up their FTL. What a bunch of jerks. Well. Oh, what? Sending a drone into my piloting area? That is the opposite of cool. Where should I send my breach bomb? I guess I'll send it to the... I'll send it into the piloting area. That way they won't be able to escape. This thing... Oh yeah, so we're not being deprived of oxygen because of that slug gel thing. Then what do I want to do? I'll send one into the shields. And then start attacking their weapons. Although I should take out this drone. It's hella annoying. It's wrecking shop on my people. And I should turn on my healing bay because I'm getting screwed over there. Ah, oh, see, I'm, I'm already running out of reach missiles. We don't need oxygen. <laughs> I laugh out every time it's like, eh, we don't really need oxygen. There we go. Stop trying to escape. Stop using your drones to destroy my piloting system. Look at him. This drone is hella strong. Why? Why is there no... Oh, because I keep turning off the oxygen. Okay, we need to have both things on. I'm screwing around here. And we need to take out this so that we can laser these fools. Yeah, what up, bros? Enjoy the bio beam. Oh, wow. That worked amazingly well. Can you stop messing around here? Oh, well. That guy probably would have died very soon of asphyxiation, but hey, we blew him up anyway. He deserved it. He was a jerk. Refusing to die. And I need some more power straight up, because as you guys can see, I'm pretty terrible at power management. To the store. Might as well pick up some more fuel since we've been giving it away everywhere. Or like Santa Claus, just giving fuel away to everyone. Breach Bomb Part 2. That would be sick. But, eh. 
I already have a breach bomb. And we can't afford it anyway, so... Bought a lot of missiles. Bought a lot of everything. <laughs> Anti-bio beam. You're giving me stuff I already have. I need more scrap. I think that's the key. The key to victory right here. Send an away party. Sweet. Some more scrap and fuel. Maybe I did not need to buy all that fuel in retrospect. In retrospect, repairing the ship is probably more important. All right, free supplies. Actually, good luck is the most important thing. We got two lucky sectors, three lucky sectors so far. Yes, killing that rabbit and taking its foot was very, very good of me. It's starting to kind of rot now, but oh well. Let's respond to the call. Oh, Mantis. When will you ever learn, Mantis? Okay, that guy's gonna be there. He's gonna be stuck there for a bit. Actually, he's gonna try and go into this med bay. That is fine with me, my good Mantis man. Okay, that did not take down their shield system, unfortunately. Which means I gotta start trying to take out these missiles. How do I wanna do this? Okay, drop a bomb in there. Okay, that missile system is taken out, finally. We can start powering up the anti-bio beam to start slaughtering these mantis men. I assume they're all mantis men. Could be actually an NG on there since they do use NGs as slaves. I believe that's their role. Alright, cool. We took that guy out. Now I can focus all my efforts on killing this mantis and shit is on fire. <laughs> cool, dudes. Okay, so this guy is going to go where? So I can target him with my dual lasers. Blast that fool. Done. Mm. Whether killing them, killing the crew, or killing the ship is faster is kind of debatable. Which one is more enjoyable is not. Killing the crew it's, <laughs> it's just so much better. Let's check for a shop. No shops. Let's get some engine upgrades. I like to dodge. Dodging enemies is always fun and quite necessary. Oh, crap. It's going to be kind of close to get ahead of the rebel fleet. Okay. Some more mantis fools trying to be dicks, and they have a much larger crew, so they're going to be much more of a dick. Yeah, going into my door section. What? Where is this guy going? Is he teleporting outside of my ship? <laughs> what the hell was that? I kind of want to figure out what the hell that is. How did that, how did that happen? Okay. He was, he was just going for a spacewalk there. <laughs> what the crap. Okay. Took down whatever that bomb was. This is going to be harrowing. Two mantis dudes in here. Should I flood the room of oxygen? Possibly. These guys are going to start to get rocked real quick. Actually, let's let's move these guys out. Oh, good thing they're not trying to attack that thing. Aha! Suffer from asphyxiation. That's awesome. Oh, wait. They're trying to run into there. Okay, I think we can close these doors. One mantis dude with like half health. He's not that much of a threat. Okay. Oh, dang. I forgot about that med bay. i take that down. Otherwise, it's going to take a lot longer. There we go. Anti-bio beam. Right on their asses. Like, I wonder what the actual area... If just a little bit of the anti-bio beam is on the red square. Is that how beam weapons work? Yeah, that guy's done. 
this guy. I'm going to give him a, a little bit of the blast from dual lasers. Then we'll finish him off with an anti-bio beam. You guys can go get healed. You're so done, my good sir. You're well crisped. And a firebomb. Sweet. I have no use for firebombs, even in this awesome... Because, like, how much power does it require? It requires two power. It's... I don't know. Not that cool. Damn! F I'm gonna go to the exit. I know there's a quest there. I know I'd normally go for it, but... I don't know. I don't want to deal with any rebel badasses. Let's see. Let's demand the surrender of their goods. And, of course, by force... I mean that we're gonna just kill you with this anti-bio beam. Does it say what the anti-bio beam is made out of? Like, why is it specifically anti-bio? That's something I wanna know. Okay. Power up the anti-bio beam. Oh wait, they're trying to escape. I gotta make sure that they don't do that. Target their shields. Oh, okay, they're not trying to escape anymore. Then we can target their weapon system. There we go. Now they will suffer. They will suffer greatly. Especially since they didn't invest in a med bay. I always feel bad for the ships that don't invest in med bays. Makes them such an easy target. Now, can I do it like this? I don't really know. Whatever. How you guys doing over there? You guys aren't looking too well. Oh. Yeah, they're screwed. Your cargo is about to get taken. We will have to walk over your charred remains. A Hermes missile? Hell yeah! What is this? Three damage per shot? What does this do? Is this missile better? This Pegasus? This double me Pegasus? I think it is. It at least does more damage. It takes longer. Oh, a store. That would be nice to go to. But we must leave before the rebels get here. Uncharted Nebula or Zoltan Homeworlds? <laughs> I'm sure you guys had fun guessing in my last video, so I'll leave it up to you guys to guess. Guess which one I'm going to. Um, yeah, so we're going to Sector 3 next. How do I feel about this ship? I'm, I'm loving Crispin, fools. A little worried about what our whole strength is at, but hey, I'm, I'm optimistic. All right, until the next video, remember, take care of yourself.